Okay. So 2019, 389 flat top. Extended hood. Omaha orange. It's a nice bright day here in northern Colorado, so I figured I'd get it in the bright sunshine. We've been getting some bad weather, and we finally got a little bit of nice weather, so I figured I'd get it. The trucks are a little bit dirty, guys, so, you know, I get it. I'd, I'd like to wash them all, but sometimes the weather here does not allow for it. So this is a 280 wheelbase truck, 13.2 front axle. Texas style front bumper. This one has an air ride front suspension. So we're X15 Cummins 2050 torque. Disc brakes, <clears throat> heated fuel filter, a remote lube kit, and I think we put the jump up, jumper terminals on this one behind the cab. We are running disc brakes. We have not done any lights or anything on this truck yet, so it is an open pallet for you to pick what you like. Put a battery disconnect on the front there with polished tanks, polished everything. 72 inch flat top on this one, guys. We are running 100 gallon tank on this side and a 150 on the other side. And as you can see here, battery jumper, jumper terminals are on the back on the catwalk. Now, some guys like them, some guys hate them, but if you are pulling a trailer or you got to jump something, at least you don't have to roll the hood. So, I'll have to look inside. I don't see a bunk heater exhaust on this truck, so I'm not sure if it's equipped with it yet. 22.5 rubber. Bridgestones, M726. This frame is huck bolted. I do get comments that from time to time that you guys don't like huck bolts. Well, if you don't like huck bolts, we can order your truck without them, no problem, okay? Disc brakes all around. Better stopping distance, better wear life on disc brakes. The mechanics tell me it's faster to remove the tires than it is to actually change out the brake pads, so. I think this is a 36 inch sliding fifth wheel Holland. I'm not sure which, if that's an F35 or not. It doesn't look like an F35. I can, might have a low lube plate. I'll put that down in the comments in the narrative section down below, guys. Let me put the tall stacks on. I'm told we're the only manufacturer that offers that cut on the tip from the factory. So if that means anything to you. I really like the Omaha orange color. So this is a platinum interior. Of course you have your rosewood insets. We have other options on interiors, so if you want to make yours a little more unique, you can. Sears seating, black leather, black carpet. And they leave this on here. I like it when they leave that on there. It just protects it. These are full gauge trucks. Lots of gauges. So if you guys opt for navigation, it basically eliminates these six gauges here. I 
the sacrifice you make with these sear seats. As you can see, the armrest does not wrap around to the back. So, so I was correct, this one is not equipped yet with a S-bar bunk heater. So you can add an APU or we can throw an S, uh, you know, S-bar Webasto heater on for you if you wish. Standard closet. And your business center. With a couple of Tupperware down below. Well, there you go, guys. If you have a question about this truck, Omaha Orange, 2019 Peterbilt 389. My name is JW, Rush Truck Center, Southern Colorado. If you like these videos, go ahead and click on the truck in the bottom right-hand corner. We'd love to have you subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Stay safe.